Hi guys, welcome to my unboxing of the We Are Memory Keepers Laser Square. The, the box is so big that I have the tripod extended as high as I can, even with the camera bar up, and I still can't get the whole box in the picture. So, this is the majority of the box. The only thing you're really missing is the top where it says laser square. Comes with the mat and the bar. I did just pull it out so that I could put the batteries in. And I put it right back how it came. I'm gonna get this cord out of the way. So here's how it came. It came with a uh, a little bit more cardboard, but I figured you didn't need to see the cardboard. Here's the mat and the instructions. So, let's see here. It takes two 9-volt batteries, which I should have realized it should take something. I mean, obviously something has to power the laser. So I have triple A, I have C, I have D, and I have double A. Of course, I have no 9 volts, so I had to go out and get some. Here's the two pieces. It is nice. I'm used to kids' toys at this point where the battery covers screw on. So it's really nice just to open them and put it in. So it says insert arms together as shown using the 90 degree configuration. Let's see. It just has slots. So it should be pretty easy if I can get it lined up here around the camera. There we go. Uh, it says to put in the batteries, which I already did. And then on the mat, it's the next thing it says. Let me get a scissor. Here's the mat. It's just a puzzle. Jeez, these are hard to push together. Yeah, there you go. I like that this is a little bigger than a 12 by 12 page, so I won't always have to move it around. And then there are pieces here. See the circle notches that get put in there. That way it's pretty stable. It's not flipping all around. So then to turn it on, you turn it on the sides. There you can see the lasers where the tabs are. You get a piece of paper for you. Black piece, I think, will probably show best. Yep. And there you can see where they intersect. It does fade out over here. So I wonder if I turn my uh, light off. Yeah, it's better without my daylight lamp. The other thing I'm noticing is this mat underneath is warped from me using my heating tool on it. So I notice that the, the lasers aren't exactly level. They're like waving across the page. So let me see. Let me pull this out of here and see if it helps. definitely helps. I don't know if you can tell that on camera, but it, it certainly made a difference. So there's the unboxing of the laser square. As I have it for a little while, I will do a review. I'd love to hear if you have any questions on this product uh, so that I could answer them in my review. 
but oh boy, that's not a good sign. <laughs> It looks like it'll pop right back on, but maybe I'll have to talk about that in my review. <laughs> so yeah, this one is a little sticky. We'll see. I can't make a, a judgment right away. First impression is that I think it will be, be very good for people like me who can't even cut straight with a ruler. So be back soon with a review, guys. Thanks for watching the unboxing. Talk to you soon. Bye.